How are you doing today? I'm Chris Norwood. I'm on a journey to hear every song ever recorded, hence the name of the channel. And today, I just got back from my local record store, Horizon Records. If you're ever in South Carolina, want to check it out. Really great selection of vinyl records. Really great selection of new and used CD records in every genre. So please check them out if you're ever around this area. So, I, I just got my record player, uh, my new setup, and I wanted to buy some new vinyl. I don't want to buy stuff that I've already heard or that I already own. So, I took a long, long browse through the shelves. Just, oh, it's so therapeutic. I so needed it tonight. And I found this. This is Crimp Shrine duct tape soul lp sealed brand new i actually looked this up before i bought it and it's going for way more than they had it um i got this for 16.98 it was 18 dollars even with taxes uh or due to the change shortage i don't do math so i don't know but i've heard a lot about this band uh being a green day nerd uh this is one of green day's influences and they're also friends with these guys uh, Aaron is from Pinhead Gunpowder and that is why I wanted to get this one they had this one and another one that had a similar cover but this one really drew me in just something felt right about getting this one tonight this is sealed in the plastic I'm going to show you guys that and then this Really cool, really cool black and white artwork. Seems really substantial. So I, I really do not like buying CDs or vinyl if they feel like there's nothing inside. So let's just rip this open and see if I'm correct to Mungo. This is a really cool, I just, I feel so punk rock. Uh, Crimp Shrine, uh, just the name drop from Green Day alone is enough to mean that this band is good. So. $16.98 price tag is coming off. I'm going to be try. I'm try. Ah, I'm going to try to be extremely detailed for you unboxing nerds. I'm, you know, I'm a nerd, and so we're going to be extremely detailed. That's the uh, that's the barcode, a um, bunch of numbers and black bars. Got to smell it. Not too many smells coming off of it. There's zero smells. Let's just open this bat. Oh, 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 uh oh. No, uh oh, it's not bad. It's just I expected it to unfold and it did not. It is fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I've seen this thing go uh, for $77. I got it for $18 even. So let's just see what's in here. Let me give you a really up close, and then a really up close of the back. Let's do the front again. I didn't. I didn't give you guys. Really cool. Love the, the little kiddo there. Love the chains. Oh man, I like this more and more as I continue to look at it. So on the back you got Crim Shrine, you got the 1970 Health something, you got Jeff, Aaron, Pete, Paul, and Iden on guitars, vocals, drums, bass, and vocals, bass and vocals, guitar. That's unusual. They got two bass players, Pete and Paul. Oh, okay, so they split it up. Paul on 3, 10, 11, 15, 16, and Pete and Iden on the rest. Hmm, that is interesting. Very interesting. Uh, you got Agner's Variety, Larkper, Ramones, We Try Harder, some cassettes recorded by Kevin Army, July 1988 and January 1989. Wow. Lyrics by Aaron, except for 2, 6, 9, 13. Jeff and 15 is co written. Uh, that's kind of cool. So you got uh, on side A, you got Trying Too Hard, 
summertime, caught up, left outside again, safely wasting away, wake up, picking up the pieces, pick up the pieces, RDC, kind of sounds like record store day, but it's not D, it's C. And you got on side B, you got construction, closed doors, closed mines, pretty mess, W N W S F K. Can you feel that along the way? 15 is free will and 16 is bleeped up kid. Let's open this thing up. This is what it's all about. Feels pretty substantial. I want to see what's in here. Uh -oh. oh my good. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is, I gotta show you this empty. Okay, it still feels pretty substantial, but it was not a trick. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a little surprise. Oh, ah, oh, oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna start on side A. I don't wanna get you guys messed up. And then side B. We're now going to unsleeve, guys. we do some altered carbon unsleeving. Watch this. Oh, my goodness. That is a heavy, heavy vinyl. Feels very different than it, it feels like it's shaped different almost. Other unboxers don't do this. So you got A33 RPMs, trying too hard, summertime caught up, left outside again. The duct tape soup LP. Same thing on the back. You got this is a uh, you know side A and B, and um, yeah, you got the uh, oh man, oh man, I love this man. This is what it's all about. Here's the sleeve emptied of its contents. Here's the sleeve with me inside. We're gonna put this record back in the sleeve. You gotta protect these bad boys. Here it is, back in its sleeve again. Oh my goodness, guys. Let's put it back in here, too. Inside, we got a secret package. We got a bonus package. We got a secret, secret message just from the band to me. I'm just kidding. This, uh, you know, like I said, I've seen this go for 77, but there had to be something else going on with it. Because, you know, I mean, it's... It's not super rare. There's a bunch of them on eBay. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research on this. But let's take a look. I've been wanting to get some uh, Air and Comet Bus um, zines for a while. And I've seen some at the bookstore. But check this out. This is a, it's a little booklet. It's a little black and white booklet, kind of like a zine. It says the Pinto, you got Aaron, you got uh, some guy in a Thor shirt, you got Jeff, Jake, some other guys, sing it, Paul, Pete, Iden. It's interesting that the band has like, um, oh my goodness. It's interesting that they kind of have like fill-in members. World today? Why am I stuck in the world today? Oh, I can't show you that. There's like a void the Noid in the background. Um, summertime, you left some time ago. I can't show you that. There was a little bit of nudity in there, uh, which, you know, I am just a parasite, a rancid creature of the night. Oh my. Pretty cool stuff. This is, uh, this is right up my alley. The reason I got this was uh, I've heard a lot about this band being a Green Day fan. 
And that is 100% why I bought this. Check it out. Really, really cool stuff. I've got a comic book here and a new vinyl record. Wake up. Oh my goodness. Very, very Green Day type stuff in here. Coffee, Waking Up, Paranoia, Lies, Bad Vibes, TV, you know, the stuff, the bad things on television, Smoking Graffiti Artist. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Oh, my little, my little Green Day, my little, I'm going to start singing Nightlife in a minute. I got, I, I've heard very little from this band, so this is going to be completely fresh. Listen, this is going to be really cool, guys. <gasps> crimp shows, a sort of slightly in order list of the first crimp shows. 86 through who knows when I guess 86 through 80s 88 really really awesome actually I've been kind of uh, I was going nuts today because I'm waiting on my Billy Joe Armstrong no fun Mondays to come in and I just had to go look at it angrily on the shelf as I wait for my pre-order from 123 Records to come in. And this is going to keep me happy until... This is going to have to keep me happy until Monday night is when I'm uh, planning on... When the, the mailman plans to bring me No Fun Mondays by Billy Joe Armstrong. Let's get this thing spinning and see how it looks on a, a turntable, shall we? Okay guys, we went to the punk rock aesthetic. We're going to get my uh, record player fired up here. And uh, you see I've got uh, Roger Daltrey's Under a Raging Moon on here. We're going to take that out and uh, put it over here on, on some, uh, some other uh, speakers. And here's my brand new Crimpshine record. This is side A. Of course, you got to start with A. You don't have to, but I, I like to. Okay, so I've got my volume turned up. This is going to be This has been an unboxing of Crimp Shrine's Duct Tape Soul LP, purchased at Horizon Records in South Carolina. And I'm Chris Norwood on a journey to hear every song I've recorded. This thing sounds amazing, by the way. I'm in love, and I've only played like 15 seconds. So, you know, I only played like, I think that was about 15 of the songs. Uh, in that 15 seconds, and they were amazing. So really cool, and this right here just made it worth it. I would pay, I would pay $15 or $20 just for this little booklet with a comic book and all kinds of punk rock information. So um, this is going to be sort of a kickoff of my Green Day uh, super in-depth look at the. Uh, the world of Green Day, and this is uh, this is kind of connected to Green Day in some substantial ways, and uh, so be on the lookout for that. Please subscribe. I'm doing uh, I'm doing some unboxing videos, and that's going to continue in the future. But you're going to hear a whole lot about Green Day, a whole lot about Crimp Shrine and bands like this. So please like and subscribe. I'm trying to become a YouTube superstar. You know, kind of like on the level of Green Day. You know, 150 million in the bank. That'd be that'd be kind of kind of sweet. So uh, do me a favor, watch this video um, like all day, every day, forever. Like stop going to work, 
stop uh, spending time with anyone and uh, just watch my videos all the time. I know they're a little cringe. I know I'm a little corny. I know my goatee looks kind of weird because it's like half gone. Uh, and I know I have a southern accent. And for that, I apologize. I'm working on it. Maybe I'll do a fake British accent for these Green Day videos in the future. Until then, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell and all that blah, blah, blah. And uh, have a good night. Uh, go to your record store and grab stuff uh, that you got good feelings about. Because it worked out for me. Thanks.